Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm here today with a, another haul from um, crafting.co.uk. So I think they're like ideal home shopping channel or something, or maybe they were at one point. Um, they're like where you can buy tattered lace dyes from new, um, like their home website. And I ordered from them before a little while ago and I was happy with all the products I got and the shipping and everything. So um Part of the reason I ordered from them was partly because they had this um, essential card block. I wanted some more nice card to stamp on. I had a six by six one of these that I picked up at a craft fair that I've used up. I do have lots of other white card, but I just thought card that's specific for stamping. Um, I'll try this one out. 300 GSM, so a decent weight would be nice. So it's good for blending and inking. Um, I feel like I'm going to open this up to show you, but it's white card, so there's not really a lot to see, is there? But I feel intent upon opening it regardless. So the 8x8 with about 8 99 or something, yeah. It's nice, thick, weight, and soft and smooth. Um, it was about the same price, I think, as the 6x6 one that they had on the Hunky Dory site, and you get 50 sheets. So I got that. Um, and whilst I was on there, I also decided, and I know I don't need any more cardstock, but this is the Adorable Scorpio Matastic. So I love Adorable Scorpio cardstock. Um, I got some Adorable Scorpio card bases, and I absolutely love those. But I'm really going through them. They are really thick. So they're 350 GSM. And I have a lot of Adorable Scorpio cardstock, but this is the Matastic cardstock. <laughs> so, um fractionally different in that you can stamp on it you can't get it open but you can stamp on it i can completely cut it open because it's only going to go into my cardstock storage i'm not the kind of person who keeps everything in plastic packaging so oh, the lighting becomes a lot worse isn't it you can see it on there but so a4 sheets and the white on one side, but that doesn't particularly affect me. And then matte, so you can stamp on them, which is partly why I wanted it. And sometimes you just want matte. You only get two of each colour. Um, but as I said, it's not like I'm really short of cardstock. A lovely range of colours, which hopefully I'm showing you. That's a nice mint green, isn't it? Got some white in there, some pink, purple. A dirty yellow. Black is always useful. I should just buy a pack of black one day. And then these ones are all the other, other way up. Grey, purple, brown. I find brown is a useful colour. It's a shame it's got a bit scuffed there, isn't it? It won't matter for what I use it for. They're great for card bases and, yeah, die cutting and stuff. But they're quite thick. So if you've got the cheap dies sometimes from AliExpress and things. Sometimes they don't like cutting through adorable, scorable, which is fine. Whatever. Anyway, that was eleven ninety nine. It wasn't on sale or anything, from what I remember. Um, but I wanted some more stuff, some more cardstock that was matte. <laughs> so I got that one. Twenty five core colours. It was the core colourway. So all the useful colours one would think um i also you end up they had a free offer where you could join their club and you got something like a five pound voucher which i can use on my next order when i spend more than 20 pounds and 10 percent off so now every time i do an order i should get 10 percent off which is cool because it was free to join at that point in time um so i also got a pack of the hunky dory miri card so I'm not going to show you too much because it's just really glary. It's white on the back. So this is silver because um, a while ago I picked up a little pack of this Miri card. I think I found it in the range for a couple of pounds. And they're just so useful having them pre-cut and just sitting there ready to die cut. So I thought I'd get some silver and actually worked out this was about five ninety nine dollars for like hundreds. It was 150 in the sort of slimline card weight so it works out better value than buying the smaller one there's just absolutely loads there <laughs> it's gonna last me forever 
that's uh is that all i got from hunky dory no i also picked up this was kind of to make it to the um free shipping point and they had all the prism ombre ink pads at 2.99 and the reason i went for brown might sound like a really boring color i've got one of these in orange and i really like it and i went for brown because quite often i will do stuff in brown like trees and branches <laughs> leaves animals so i went for brown because yeah because that's what i went for so i could stamp something and show you how it comes out just seeing if i got this piece of cardstock question being do i have i have lots of stamps but they're not don't feel like they will show it off to a very good amount but we will i will quickly do one where are all my here we go acrylic blocks let's just have a look and see bearing in mind that i've not used this yet That's come up very well for a first stamp using a stamp and a first use of the ink. Imagination, a beautiful thing. This is one that, that I was gifted in Happy Mail. It's a nice stamp, actually. Coming out, very nice quality. Uh, I think it's a photopolymer stamp. Look at me wiping it off my finger. But yeah, I like it. I do like these ombre stamps. I mean, ink pads. But I'm sure the last thing I need is to go and buy a whole full set of them. So let's hope I don't do that. But yeah, I'm impressed at how that came, came out. Anyway, so that was that. I also, I think you saw me last time haul some of these Maggie Home stickers. They were a pound a pack, so I've got a couple of packs so I can um, share some of them, maybe use some more. And I treated myself, this was three pounds. I didn't need it. So I, you saw me buy the, or you might have seen me buy the um, paper pad last time that they had on offer. So I went back and I got the washi tape. I don't need any washi tape, but I do use quite a lot of washi tape. Don't get loads on a roll. It's always upsetting, isn't it, when you use up a roll of washi tape. But this is the one to go with the, what's the name? Jen Hadfield. It's called like, This Is Family. That's it, the This Is Family collection. So you get the stripe, the little flowers brown flowers little people i love this <laughs> she's the man with a funny ginger beard we are family little metallic one this one says sunshine and rainbows la di da di da family dinner yeah all sorts of things and that's a pretty pattern so three pounds isn't too bad it's something i didn't really need so it seemed like a bit of a i didn't need any of it really did i so all of it was a frivolous purchase i think i was feeling a bit sad momentarily sad i got some more of these stamps um partly so i could gift some of them because they were two pounds for the three and they're such lovely quality um photopolymer they stamp so nicely i thought they'd make some really nice gifts i'll probably keep one for myself and maybe gift the others really big aren't they these stamps by chloe Lovely, like fairy wand, make a wish, and a little fairy. Oh, and her dresses. I was wondering if her dress was patterned, but her dress is patterned. So they are pretty. Three for two pounds, as in all three for two pounds, not two pounds each. So I felt that was a good deal. Then the other reason why I did order from here is because I loved my tattered lace magazine that I ordered last time, so I couldn't resist getting some more that were on sale. So I've got four on sale. Three of them are £2.80 each and one was £4. It was like £4.80 each. So I'll show you one at a time. So the more expensive one was this one. Um, but I just thought it was really pretty. So basically, these magazines come with papers, um, a die, and the old ones come with stamps. The new ones are coming with embossing folders. So I will show you what they come with. So it came with 
this die, which doesn't look like much at first, and this bit to layer over the top. But when you use them with the Charismas that come inside, and as you can see, I've already tried it out. When you put it on top of the Charisma, they just look so nice. And the papers that came with it were lovely, like this lovely seaside background. We've got wood grain, tea party. So some of them don't relate whatsoever to the dye here. They like relate to other dyes um, from Tassid Lace. Lots of seaside themed ones, which is always good for me. I do like my seaside things. So lots of really nice ones. And hearts. Um, I'm just looking to see where the one that I cut out has gone. So it also came with a stamp set and that is the stamp set. So it has some sentiments like wishing, you no, know, wonderful in every way, wishing you well, enjoy the little moments and sending well wishes your way. So here we go. So initially I tried to stamp on the inside after I'd cut it all up and I messed it up. So I had to cut another bit out and stick it on top. So that's why that is. But that's how that comes out. I've not made a card with them yet, but look how pretty that's going to look. And you can imagine it. I think it would need like a white border and maybe then go on top of that one, but it would work well. And there's also some downloads that you can download. <laughs> Surprisingly. So yeah, that one was £4.80 but I just thought it was pretty colours um, and I can quickly show you the magazine. So I'm pretty sure all of these are still available at their reduced prices. So if you did want to go, and I was talking to Lois because she's kind of the one that got me into Tattered Lace, my swap buddy Lois. Um, and she's saying that you need to get in in December. They do like a £100 deal where you can subscribe to all the Tattered Lace magazines. Because um, they're not cheap when you buy them full price. They're like £12.99. Um, and you also get some extra dies and things. And yeah. So it's give you some products. So like this is some of the other things that to match up with the paper that came. And I saw this and I was like, that's so me. Some of that grandma's kitchen. But it's not easy to get hold of some of these. It seems like they bring out collections quite frequently. And then... Um, seem to discontinue selling them so it's not that easy to get hold of some of the older stuff as I found before so very pretty projects I think I need to make something like that at some point in time um so that's why I search on eBay quite a lot to, to find some of them that's nice isn't it with the basket wonderful weaves die pretty charisma oh so maybe it's a charisma that makes it look like that but you can download those free anywhere off the website and then you could just cut it into strips, couldn't you, and make your own basket. So you could download the free printable with that paper, cut it into thin strips, weave them together, make your own basket. That would be something you could do without even having to buy the dye. That's pretty cool. And then there's a template to make something that I, I know in reality I am never going to make. I'm quite keen on that. I think that's very cool. Anyway, so that's that one. Um, then I also picked up, so these ones were £2.80, so this one came with a little Explore, Dream, Discover stamp, and a, so it's very travel inspired, a little suitcase die, and as I say, they don't look like much until you put them on top of the Charisma quite often. Obviously, you could colour them in, before I realised about, like, how cool they looked with the charisma and dick party and mark. I used to colour them in. And I still would potentially. But here. See, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Like a 3D suitcase. That'd be a nice thing. I don't think it would work on scrapbooking because it's too chunky. You would just have to have it flat properly. Just, like, I don't know how decoupage would would lie properly. Um but yeah, I think it would cool on the card. So this one goes into Christmas. I don't know what time of the year issue 80 doesn't sometimes it tells you inside what time of the year was the same day it's just like the summer so obviously preparing you for christmas i don't mind that it's got christmas papers in because i always need christmas papers and also some beachy things it's quite nice like little drinks and things 
And to me, I guess that could be Christmas or could not be Christmas. I don't know. Could be, could not be. Um, so yeah, I haven't made any of these into cards yet, but that's probably what I'm going to do this afternoon. And you can get lots of different colourways to make up your holiday suitcase. I like how they've ripped it there, made it look like a beach. Did I show you how that's stamped out? Because I had that stamped out. That's stamped out nicely. I had to heat emboss it because I did it on, that's what I'm saying about the adorable scoreboard. This is a normal adorable scoreboard, which is um, coated and ink does not like drying on anything coated. So you have to emboss it on there. Not that, you know, I don't mind it being coated. I initially didn't like it, but now I don't have an issue with that. Pretty, pretty little projects. We'll scoot through. So some Christmas ones. That red and white striped paper would be nice. Look at this deer. I don't think his nose looks funny. Didn't know about that one. There we go. And that one. I like that. That's adorable, isn't it? Those little animals standing on top of each other. So that was that one. And so we've got a fairy one. Uh, 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 and that came with a really nice, like the stamp on this one, for some reason, is a nice quality photopolymer stamp. Not sure why. And that's how that stamp came out. Do you believe in magic? Really pretty. And the fairy die. Yeah, and it's matching charisma. But annoyingly, on the back, how pretty is that page? It would go like that and be like a little doorway. It's on the back of the charisma, annoyingly. Uh, so that a lot of these pages, I think, are really pretty. I mean, that one's not overly exciting. But some of them. Some of them are very pretty. That's meant to look like, like denim and lace. Whoa. Right. That's that one, and she came out like that. How pretty is she? Of course, I've got the accented up bits. She's so pretty. Um, and yeah, you can make like a roll up gift box. We know I'm never going to be bothered to do that because I'm too lazy. Pretty, pretty colours and things. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's what's going to see that that castle that looks like denim and lace is, is designed to work with these little pocket ones. They're quite cute. If I see them going for a couple of pounds on eBay, I'm going to buy those little pocket animals. I think those dies are cute. And last but not least was this one with the little birdies. So the stamp that came with this one, I actually really like. That's your die. And your stamp, you've got two. You've got a little flower pot, which I'm not as excited about. But I really like the gingham that went with that. So I've only done it once here, but you can see they left the line so that you could um, repeat stamp and make a full background. I think it's nice and it came out really nicely. So that's your die, that's your charismas, pretty, really like both of those. I love a bit of gingham check. So lots of pretty papers, remind me a bit of sort of Prima style. That's really pretty, English country garden. That one I'm not so fussed about. That's pretty, Laura Ashley-esque. Always love wood grain and blah 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 the brand to the other side so i'll quickly show you how that one came out there we go how nice is that so cute with the little birds little blue tits poking their heads out and yeah of course another magazine full of stuff and it just makes you want to buy it all which is kind of annoying but um that's just my own lack of willpower, really, that is the issue. Yeah, it's like a template to make an egg. I don't like that. An egg box thingamajig. And look at that teddy. How random is that teddy in a dress? I find her a bit freaky looking. 
treasures of the attic. Quite like the other teddy, but the one in the dress, she's just a bit freaky looking. And lots of projects. So those were the tatted lace ones. So I was very excited about those. And I will definitely be trying to get onto a subscription when it rolls around again for tatted lace. It's my like latest obsession. Um, I also went into the range and I picked up one of their paper pads. Um, and you're thinking, you don't need any more paper pads. But then who are you to comment? This was one of their 2 dollars ones. And the reason I got it was because it's double-sided. The cheap ones that they do in the range are double-sided. And I like, I know people go on about, oh, I don't like double-sided because you have to choose, which obviously that's true. But I mean, that's, that's the last of your worries. You know, that's first world problems, as they say. It's good for making 3D projects, basically, where you're going to see both sides, like boxes and stuff. You've got the inside and the outside, so we like both sides to look nice. And this is pretty, isn't it? It's pretty colours and, you know, nothing to write home about, really. Nothing overly exciting, but just prettiness. So there we go. I've already used a couple of sheets. It's enough to make a headache, isn't it? And you flick through it like that. Um, I also got, not overly excitingly, but I also got a pack of corsage pins because I was talking about making the hat cards. And I'll have to tell you about that in a second as well, my hat card die drama. Um, but I've seen people do where they make up the little hat pins. So obviously a hat pin would normally be bigger than this, but I just couldn't get hold of any in a pandemic. Um, and then stick the hat pin into the card and it just looks really cute. But I'm pretty sure with these corsage pins that were £2.50 for absolutely loads of them, that I can manipulate them to look like a hat pin. And as they're not going in the real hat, and the hats are very small, it won't matter that they're not as big as a hat pin. So yeah, that's my plan with those. So the final thing that happened was I was talking, obviously, about um, acquiring the hat box die from Tattered Lace. So went online, bought it. They delivered it, opened it up, and the blooming dies are missing. <laughs> so I emailed them back and they've given me a refund. Like you've got the bit to go around the outside. Um, and obviously I know I can make it without a die because I've obviously made it without our die. But it's so much easier when you've got the die. But without this, you haven't got the bit to make that the goes on the top. To, you know, to make the top bit that matches the length of this. Um, and you haven't got the really pretty doilies, which is what I really wanted because they were perfectly shaped to fit around the hat. Um, it's slightly gutted because this seems to be impossible to find. Um, but there we go. So when I said, oh, I'm getting the dies, all excited to make these. Yeah, so much for that. <laughs> I mean, they were very good and they refunded it and everything. But um, I would have rather had the product. Yes. So after my sadness over that, I shall leave you. Whilst I go and create some more projects. I made my wedding album and I've posted it off to my brother. So you can't see it. <laughs> um, I thought it was quite good. You'll just have to wonder. Um, and if anyone can tell me, how do you get by with wearing nail polish and crafting? Because the minute I have glue on it, especially this, um, like... I don't know. Is it alcohol-based? But glue like you who. Um, as soon as it gets on your fingers, it pulls the nail polish off. So, yeah, my nail polish lasted about two seconds. Any tips on crafting a nail polish, um, do let me know and I shall see you very soon. Bye.